and it's Well, I, I'm going to talk about a person I have living, living, living. Well, the person was my mom. She wasn't really tall and her personality was gentle, hardworking, and sometimes she's, she was a bit of strict on my studies. Well, oh, no. I have lived with her all, all of my life, so I know her very well. I, um, I enjoy living with her because she gave her to me, uh, rest, rest, um, rest, me, um, rest me all the time, and she was to me. Sometimes she scold me about not doing housework or a bit lazy on homework, but I am grateful for her or because of her efforts of recently. Do you like living with other people? Mm, I have to say it just depends on what uh, what kind of person I live with. Mm, for example, my dad. Um, I I did enjoy living with him, but he has he has um hot temper and he usually gets. Get mad with no reason when he's stressed. We've been talking about a person you have lived with, and now I'd like to discuss with you one or two more general questions related to this. Let's consider first the topic of family. In many societies, traditional family structure is changing. Some people argue that this represents the breakdown of moral values. Do you agree or disagree and why? Well, I have to say that I, I agree with that statement because it's true the traditional family structures um, is changed a lot or because of Mm, the society has um, noticed slowly development too. What are some of the reasons for the changing structure of families? Maybe, um, maybe the opinions of people are different, are more different than than them in the past, especially the previous century. And how do you think family structure might change further in the future? I, I don't get the question. How do you think family structure might change further in the future? Mm, I think uh, Technology will have some effects on the families. Mm. Maybe the technologies will help the will help parents to uh, educate the children better or not. Now let's talk about living with others. What are some of the problems which can arise between people who live together? What are some potential solutions to these problems? I think um, the problem is some members on uh, in the family uh, doesn't have the same opinion and conflict arise. 
and uh, in my uh, in my mix them uh, they don't understand each others what are some of the reasons for sorry some people believe that living with others shapes our personality traits and characteristics what's your view Mm. Some people believe that living with others shapes our personality traits and characteristics. What's your view? Mm, I, I think um, the the people uh, the people we live with behaviors my office us in some ways like a process of personality uh, for example if a child was raised in a good family then it might uh, become a decent person if the family was not healthy or um, always has conflict, the child might the child might show some um, destructive behaviors or um, even um, cause harm to themselves uh, to itself. What types of personal characteristics are necessary in order to successfully live with others? And for what reason? What type of personal characteristics are necessary in order to successfully live with others? And for what reasons? Okay, that's the end of the speaking test. Thank you, Linda. Bye.